In this lab, we are performing research on optical fiber. So you can see plenty of optical fiber in my back. These are the tiny glass wire that transmits a high density of information. And to transmit this high density of information, we need a very high power. Uh, we would like to transmit this information as far as possible. So now we can transmit it over hundreds of kilometers, but we would like to go further. So we develop a new type of optical fiber where the light is no longer in the glass, but is in a hollow tube containing air in the center. So we have much less interaction, so we can go further and with less distortion. But the backside of the coin is that we are losing the possibility to transform this light uh, using advanced functions. Our research was a way to restore this possibility. We are using an effect called optical tweezers where we can trap very light particle in the beam of light. And it works with gas molecule. So we can trap gas molecule and concentrate. And the concentration of this uh, gas molecule is patterned very regularly in the optical fiber and it can deviate the light very efficiently using an effect that we all know very well. Uh, this, when we observe a flow of hot air, we see that the light is blurred, and this has exactly the same effect. So we can couple the light from an intense light beam into a weak beam that we want to amplify. The advantage of this is that we are restoring the possibility to make this function. And we can uh, store the light, we can amplify it, we can slow it down, we can accelerate the light, we can make very nice sensors, and moreover, the big advantage is that uh, it works in any gas and with any light from ultraviolet to infrared. So we can use simply air to uh, amplify the light or to store information.